I know I was supposed to record today, but today it was, I really wasn't doing anything to record. I mean, other than going to work, I got up pretty early. Um, and I was working in the office. Tomorrow I'll be doing the route, so I'll show more of that. What is that on my lip? I hate that. Um, but I'll show more on the route or whatever. Um, but yeah, how y'all doing today? I'm sleepy and I still got to work out and it's 8.43. And now it's doing a dust storm type thing, so yeah, it's dust storming. And it was thunderstorm earlier. Monsoon season was supposed to start weeks ago, and now it's only one of monsoon <laughs> here. So I guess I should. Oh, my phone fully charged. I'm gonna say maybe I should charge my phone. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, y'all know what I be thinking about, like so i was watching this girl another girl on youtube i don't know her name when i find out my tag it i don't know i don't remember her name but she was talking about how cha challenging it has been to like save money and like everything's gotten so expensive i know everybody's been talking about this topic so i'm not gonna dwell on it too hard but what she's saying <clears throat> girl it I, oh, okay girl it's storming like crack, knocking stuff down like my neighbors okay anyway um good old monsoon season when it happened right now whatever whatever anyway <laughs> but she was just talking about how like everything's so expensive and that is so true i think um not think i had bought some groceries from this place called safeway which is like a jewel in chicago it's like the same thing was it safeway or sprout whichever one i don't remember but i only had like eight things like i had like two cases of water i had two cases of water some fruit and like, um, it's just like I have some gardenia. If you don't know what the gardenia, yeah, it's like a, a crumbles, a, a vegetarian crumbles. I don't have much, nothing. Eight things shouldn't cost damn near eight some dollars. Like, I didn't get nothing. And I still got a grocery shopping. Like, <laughs> it's everything is just high. And I live by myself, like I said, for a thousand pounds. And I pay rent by myself and pay all my bills, which I'm supposed to. But damn, what can we have like a, a cheat day? Is that the thing? Can we have a cheat day? A chill day? A fun day? It's like you, is it like you work to pay bills? Like who wants to work and pay bills? Like you want to work, you can pay your bills and have a good time. Well, let's get creative. You might want to smuggle or something. I don't know. Have a little drink. Maybe you just want to sit on the balcony and eat your breakfast and just chill or read a book or go for a walk or, you know, with no, you work, you pay bills and you go to sleep. That is horrible. That sucks, man. Anybody else feeling like that? That's how I'm feeling. Like, that's just, you never gave, you never gave that. And then, like, I'm a single household, and people who have um, partners or they're married or they have kids still struggling, too. It's like, baby, everybody should be feeling like it's just like a whole, all this weight on you. You know what I'm saying? And then if you fall, everybody fall. And that's, what that lady, that's what that lady was saying on YouTube, too. And I'm like, girl, that's exactly what I be saying. Because I can't be a way to live. So I be feeling bad for just spending money on like some stuff. Sometimes I don't want to cook and I just want to order some food, but I feel bad for doing that. Or like if I want to buy me something from the store, I'm be like, dang, what if I got a bill that come up? I shouldn't have to feel like that about no uh, about no bill about none of that. Like I should be able to buy it and still have my savings. And not really have to be worried or have anxiety about, you know, freaking coins, money. That is ghetto. That is so ghetto. That is not a way to live. That is be like, we can't catch no break. 
this storm or whatever's going on outside is just being just loud as hell. Okay. It's just the wind just blowing and dusting. It's dusty outside. Real dusty. I love that for the outside. I'm glad I'm not out there because maybe I was going to go work out. I'd be mad if I was in the gym because we have a gym in our uh, complex. I'd be mad if it's at the gym that's going on. I don't like that. That would be uncomfortable. <laughs> I do not like being in the storms when I'm not at the house. I have a panic attack. Ask my best friend. You scared of thunderstorms a little. Yes, my my big age. Yes, I am. A little bit. I'll tell you a quick little story time. Okay, so here we go. Quick little story time. So, it was storming um, back home where I used to live. Uh, I, I live with my parents, whatever. What was I doing? I think I was grocery shopping. Yeah, I went grocery shopping. I was just grocery shopping in this place called El Rachito's. And I was going to go to... Uh, help my dad because for some reason he was trying we had a whole wash and dryer but i'm not sure why he took maybe it was rugs he took to the wash to, ugh, maybe it was rugs that he took to the laundromat and i was gonna go there and help him i don't know remember exactly but basically i was going to shop in this place of up street but over at tito and i knew my dad was at the laundromat so i drove to the laundromat and i'm like man it's looking real weird outside and then i got the you know the tornado warning thing and i was like Oh, no, like, hell no. I was scared a little bit. I'm like, maybe, you know, that was six months. I always say that, and it never happened. So I'm like, you know, maybe I'm just thinking. But it is getting a little dark back there, and I can see it in my rearview mirror. In the back, how, like, it's dark as hell, like, really gloomy. I mean, dark. And then it's light on the other side. It's like two split, I don't know, skies, like a dark sky and a light sky. So I'm heading over to the laundromat. I go in there, you know, I'm talking to my dad. Or whatever, and I'm like, Dad, it look like some stuff. He's like, Yeah, he don't care. He, he you know, my dad's God fearing, he don't care, he ain't scared about nothing, whatever, too much. So <laughs> I'm like, I'm looking, I'm like looking back, like, Dad, it's looking a little dark, don't you think? Why is the wind blowing like that? And then, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get to it. I'm sorry. So I'm like, why the wind blowing like that or whatever? It's like blowing hard. You see like leaves, you see trees falling. I'm like, oh no, in the sky now it's dark all over. It ain't just dark on one half of the sky, it's dark all over. And so I'm like, well, <laughs> okay. So I'm like, it's just looking real spooky out here. I don't know if I need to be in the presence of the storm. And I'm like, dad, it's a tornado. Like we probably should go. And he's like, everything's like, he cool, he don't care. He's like, you can go. I'm like, Dad, I'm not just going to leave you here. You got to come with me, like, so we can go home and be safe <laughs> because it don't look safe outside. And this is Chicago, y'all, so, you know, or whatever. So, I'm like, it don't look safe outside. Like, it look like it's really from the tornado for real. I ain't never seen that. And then my friend Tony, he don't make it no better. He was like, girl, he's like, bitch, I'm in a closet right now with me and Azalee in a closet. <laughs> Making sure we up. Uh, making sure we good. I was like, it don't make it no better. So I left my dad. I left my dad. I left him. He, I, I would, I left my dad. I put me first. So I got in my car. I through the streets or whatever. So I'm going on the side street instead of taking the regular streets because I'm like, it's gonna take me forever to take the the you know the street street. I'm taking the side streets, whatever. Man, a tree fell right like. Right, I passed it just in time. It almost hit my car. I don't even remember if I stopped at any stop signs because I was panicking. And I literally left my dad at the laundromat. I left my dad at the laundromat. I didn't. Got, didn't get, my fight or flight, I'm flying. I'm gone. I'm out of there. Um, I left him. I feel bad to this day. But I was gone. Like, I don't even remember stopping to say All I saw, that tree freaked me out. And something, I have this weird thing about fallen trees. I'm really creeped out from fallen trees since I was a kid. I don't know why. If I see a fallen tree, I'm really, 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 really creeped out. They look weird. <laughs> so, I'm flying. I don't even know how I got home. All I know is I, um, I ended up in front of the house. My mom sees me pulling up like a race car driver 
and the trees is just blowing and trees creep me out when they blowing like that i don't know why they just do it's just creepy and then the sky was dark and then the leaves were blowing and then i'm talking to toady he's talking about he in the closet with his daughter and then the tornado sirens going off baby they had i was, it was either life or death for me <laughs> and my mom she outside in her robe sitting there with the screen door ashley hurry up and i panic and i lock the keys inside the damn car i don't know if they'll close the door no, how I lock the keys. I mean, I close the door, but <laughs> I'm all over the place. I close the door. I lock the keys out of the car. I run in the house. Run in the house, <laughs> right? Here you go. My mom and my mom and my brother at the house, they like, where's your dad? I'm like, he at the lobby. So they like, you left your dad? And my brother's like, you left dad? And I was like, he said I could go. <laughs> He said I could go. He said I could go. <laughs> I put me first. Do you understand? I actually put me first. And I'll do it again. I'll do it again. I do not like storms. I don't play with ask my best friend. I don't like storms like that unless I'm in the house and I'm like cuzzled up with them TV on. I could turn the I don't know why I'm creeped out by storms. I think it's that whole thing. You know how like if you live in a black household, you know how you like gotta turn off all the lights, turn off everything, you know that whole little thing. Yeah, I grew up that way. Um, I play by no storm. They literally judging me because I left my daddy at the laundromat. He had a car, he could have came with me, he just said go and I left. And they really judging me because I left. And I locked the keys in the car. And I forgot this part. And it make no better when my mom was staying outside and me running. I ran. And my big self, if you see how I ran. Never mind. Whatever. I ran towards the door. My mom standing outside with the screen door open, door open, and her road. And she like, come on, Ash, let's go. Hurry up. Get in the house. She doing that. That don't make it no better. Why wouldn't I leave my dad to London? He said, go. And I'm supposed to be the bad person. My brother can vouch for this story. Like... I, I I left my dad at the laundromat. I, I don't like storms, man. You know, shit. I definitely do it again if it happens and I'm outside. I do not stay. I don't like it. I don't like it. And I won't like it. Imagine your mama standing outside in her road with the door wide open. You already traumatized. You've seen the trees. you see the dark-ass clouds that don't look normal. You got the tornado sirens going off. You ever heard them? Creepy when you're outside. It's pouring raining. Okay? It's raining real hard. The trees look real creepy. They blowing like they finna fall. And your mama outside the door. Door wide open. Screaming. You lock the keys in the car. You say, at this point, it's, it's all in. I'm running the house. Because she screamed, talking about getting the house. Hurry up. It's dangerous out here. It didn't make it better. So what was I supposed to do? Stay at the laundromat? And then I'll stay, stay in the car or go back and get my dad. He said leave. My mom yelling at the door. He come in. And then they going to have the audacity to ask me why you leave your daddy at the laundry bag. He said he could leave. He had a car. Okay, I'm done. That's all I got to end to that story time. <laughs> I got plenty of book crazy ass stories. But that's the end of that story time. But I'm going to stick beside me. Don't keep me in no storm. Baby, I don't like storms. I like that. They beautiful like when I'm inside my home with the TV and loud and eat snacks. That's it. Okay. Y'all know I'm finna leave. Bye. I'll see y'all tomorrow.